always been a goal to be able to offer a variety of things. So the more uh, variety that we have, I always thought we could surely get someone's niche. Uh, Debbie joined us most recently. We're actually kind of related, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to say this. <laughs> yeah, your uncle married my cousin, so we've known each other since that. we were small. We're related. Oh, we're kind Joe of related. married Sharon. Sharon's in your family? Yes. Didn't know that. She's a whole lot. She's Learned something during this interview. Yeah. <laughs> Calvin, you want to come and be part of it? This is my youngest grandson, Calvin James. In November, I'm getting ready to have my 13th grandchild, and it's going to be another little boy. But family's always been the integral uh, part. I'm Kristen with Little Sweet Cheeks. I'm here inside Taylor by Grace, and I've been in business for three years. I started in 2017, late 2016, um, after my toddler was born. I was actually a nurse um, in Indy for about 15 years before I did this, and after I had my second. Um, I decided to stay home because my husband travels a lot for work. He was gone, you know, during the week overnights a lot. So the nurse's schedule just didn't, um, wasn't conducive with that. So I found myself very understimulated <laughs> being home with him by myself a lot. So I attended market one year with my mom. She said, oh, it's in Dallas. We'll go do Joanna Gaines stuff, you know, go to Waco and we'll just make a trip of it. So we took him and we went down there and, um, I actually thought I would start with some adult apparel. I thought that would be fun, do women's and um, stuff that I like to wear. And once I got there, I saw the baby stuff and I was much more drawn to it. So cute and um, having two little boys that, or at that time just him, but my little girl when she was, she's a teenager now. When she was little, she was a tomboy. She never wanted to wear the cute, frilly stuff. So I was just drawn to all the adorable little girl stuff. So that's kind of how it started. My name is Debbie Nickel, and I've known Kathy since we were small children. And she was interested in someone coming in that painted furniture. So I paint the furniture, a lot of chalk paints, and then I do the transfers, which I order off of Etsy or eBay. And you just rub that on, and then you go back and antique it with the wax. So I have several pieces that I've done with the transfers. is also local Rick Randall's most of you all know him he's probably <laughs> sung at your wedding <laughs> and uh, he's a hoot and we tried to get him to come and be a part of this video today and he just kept oh, saying had to be gone, he had to be gone. Oh, I said oh yeah you can get the oh, group an hour or something. making that up <laughs> So, he's really the, talented though. He's I very do love talented. This item. And his is unique and very different to everything else in the shop because he goes out and hunts for what he offers and he'll repurpose it in some way. And then, last but not least, we have a vendor that offers all farmhouse look and she's from Jamestown, Indiana, Peggy Beck. And she has a big section. She's been a wonderful addition. Uh, she travels quite a ways to come and be part of our shop, but we appreciate her efforts and have enjoyed getting to know her. She's become a dear friend. So just all of us together, we try to 
make the place inviting. My original goal when I started my shop was anybody that came through the door, I wanted them to feel better when they left than when they came in. And I think we do a pretty good job at uh, trying to be friendly and welcoming. And I always have music playing in the background. I want it to be a calm and relaxing atmosphere, minus Calvin today. <laughs> can you talk easier and relaxing, but everybody smiles. Yes, yes. So. Okay, well, Taylor by Grace, uh, come October, actually, I opened my business. I'll be starting my 15th year of business, and I started out years ago. I took our one and a half car garage here in Covington and took out the garage doors and put in all French doors and began my dream journey. I always wanted to have a shop. I had no experience at it. Uh, it's just something I always had burning inside of me, and one night, as I was laying in bed, I did a lot of talking to God about opening doors, and uh, my passion was that I love the fact that you can take old things that some people think is trash and wants to be thrown away, and you can repurpose it, or you can see the beauty in it, and that's kind of how Shabby Chic started. Shabby Chic is very shabby, and so anything that has chippy, chippy white paint that some people would think has no value, it's beautiful to me, and that brings it character. And I wanted to tie my business in with my spiritual life, and so that night laying in bed as I was praying, I was thinking about my two granddaughters, Taylor and Grace, because family is at most of importance to me also, and how to marry all that together. And the Lord gave me this poem that launched everything and gave me the passion to start Taylor by Grace, named after my first two granddaughters, Taylor and Grace. They are now juniors and sophomore in high school. And this picture up here, Amanda, is a picture of them when I started my business. And it's always been housed in that pink, shabby chic frame. And Taylor is the blonde, and her little cousin Grace is the dark-headed baby that was just born. But he gave me this poem, and it goes this way. I'm worn around the edges, the years they've been a few, but I treasure each and every one because they've brought me closer to you. I'm looking toward the day now when I see you face to face, and you look on me as a precious jewel that's been tailored by your grace. And throughout my life, my life has required a lot of grace. My family's life has required a lot of grace. We all do, and that's the good thing about God is He so freely gives it. And so I wanted to tie that in, and I thought it fit perfectly with the whole take something that doesn't seem like it has value, but can be beautiful to someone else. And that's just kind of the statement of my heart that goes into the business. just kind of slowly took off from there. I never really did any advertising. It's just been kind of organic growth. We changed locations, moved over to Covington. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how we started. And now here we are, I've got, you know, this kind of back half of our side over here. We do um, infant all the way up to five or six T. Um, I try to have a variety of price points for people because um, everybody just has a different budget and a different style so I like to have some high-end pieces you know more luxurious for like baby gifts and baby showers and stuff and then some more practical um, lower price items um, once they get a little older they're a little tougher on their clothes and um, where they can still look cute but it's affordable so enjoy the 
community side of it. A lot of my customers are repeat customers that come in over and over when I get new stuff. And the support that I've received since we've been over in Covington is amazing. And um, yeah, I just love that part of it. And it's fun, it gives me you know, something to do when I'm home with the boys. My mom runs the store, you'll see her in here every day. Um, so I can just kind of be as busy or as not busy as I want to be. Um, and allows me to be home with the, with the kids and still get all that stuff done, so.